Alright, what's going on dudes? Welcome back to another episode of Ultra Modded Survival. Since we last left off, uh, it's been a, a few few seconds. So uh, yeah, how's it going everyone? Well, it's been a few seconds since uh, since I stopped recording the last episode. I guess it's been a, a day or so since uh, since you may have seen the last episode. We got dancing skeletons. Well, he stopped dancing as soon as he as soon as I pointed it out. He got a little camera shy. He didn't think I was looking. He thought he'd get a little bit of practice in before trying to shoot me as soon as I got close enough. I was thinking this time we would head into the uh, the danger dimension, the unstable ant dimension, whatever you prefer to call it, and uh, and I would, you know, try to find some triffids, get some green goo, try to make the uh, the big battle axe and uh, the attitude adjuster and try those out. And then I was also thinking, you know, sort of spurred on by the whole Mobzilla versus the king thing, I was thinking we could try battling like another pair of bosses or something like a pair of bosses that actually have a chance at taking each other out like maybe they have less health maybe it's a hundred health boss versus another hundred health boss I don't know how many bosses will actually aggro each other we'll have to experiment but I think it could be uh, kind of interesting so anyway why don't I uh, morph back into being normal me and put on my power armor chest plate and I guess I'll head into the danger dimension as is. I'll bring along some uh, some Mobzilla armor. Actually, you know what I should do is I want to test if um, we use if we don't have the full set of Royal Guardian armor on, will it cause us to uh, to do that annoying gliding thing? Let me see. Um, so let's just put on like these two, and then if I go into being a, uh, a bat, which I'm doing bat now as opposed to blaze just because I have my particles on. Um, if we go into being a bat and we fly, and then, hey, okay, so it only activates if you have the full set on. So that's cool. Uh, that means we can get the, uh, we can maximize the amount of protection we get without actually dealing with the silly gliding stuff. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on my, uh, my modular power suit's armor for now. And then, uh, and then if we ever get into a, a bit of a pickle, then I can I can throw on the uh, the Royal Guardian. But for now, we good, we good. So let's see. Let me just clear out my inventory really quickly of things that I probably don't need to take with me. Um, do I need to take eh, all of these tools? Probably don't need to take the ultimate hoe with me. Probably don't need the axe, precision shears, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, buckets probably not and um, we could bring could bring sherry along uh, eh, that'll probably be fine okay and we'll see if we can one hit a triffid when we find one that would be great wouldn't it because they were just the one of it one of them was just a pain to take out last time around um, anyway all right here we go I will catch you guys uh, catch you guys later Harry Perry uh, Sperry and Littlefoot I will catch you in a little bit won't be won't be too long I'm just gonna time probably passes a lot uh, a lot faster over in the unstable ant dimension anyway so uh, you know okay whoa 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 careful careful oh, I didn't even realize that I I still had the uh, the random done I don't think I had that I don't wait a minute wait I don't think I don't think I actually had hold on just a second this is weird let me run back uh, let me run back really quickly to Carrie's castle. I don't... Did I? Maybe I did have it in my... I kind of want to... Okay, whatever. I'll review the footage afterwards. Either way, we now... No, we definitely... I made two of them. I made two of them. Definitely that... The heck? How did one just appear in my inventory? I'm so confused right now. That was a... I don't know. Some sort of glitch. Um whatever anyway uh it is what it is it is what it is so uh yeah anyway uh why don't we go and try to find a triffid uh it's probably going to be a little while so i will cut until either we found that or we found some sort of massive dungeon or something and uh yeah should be cool brb so I haven't found a Triffid yet, I think just because it's been daytime, but I did just stumble upon a dungeon that I don't think we've seen before. And also, why are the leaves all turning black around here? What in the world? Is that something that usually happens around here, or is that actually due to this dungeon? That's kind of interesting. 
Anyway, I don't know if I've just not paid attention to it, but I, I don't No, I don't think that's been happening in the past. Maybe this dungeon corrupts the world around it. It's like a different form of the corruption or something. Either way, I have no idea, but we should uh, we should go and try to defeat it. I don't think, yeah, I think it's a new dungeon. I don't think it's just a, a one-level variant of, uh, hold on, what is this? Uh, scary tree leaves. Ooh, it's so scary. Uh, please. R.I.P. See you later. Um, you know what? Let's just go and let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll with the big stuff. All right. Uh, oh, God, we're running, like, really slowly. Okay, and what is in here? Lurking terrors? Yeah, you're all dead. You're all dead. You're all real dead. See ya. See ya, everyone. Hold on. I'm going to actually have to just quickly destroy all the spawners. All right, there we go. Boom, boom. Boom. Nope. I don't think so. I don't think so. Please kindly go away. I'll be forced to use a really massive sword on you and it's going to one hit you and you're going to be displeased with the results of that. All right. There we go. What did we find in here? Instant survival garden? This actually sounds really, really... These are new items or something. Hold on. Hey, go away. Go away. I found cool stuff. This is actually... Hold on. Uh, instant survival? Shelter? Gold, 12 golden apples and bacon. Of course. We need bacon. All right. Dude, this, uh, this seems actually really cool. The instant survival guard. I kind of want to try one out in here just to see what it looks like. Because um, I wonder if the, the whole survival garden thing could actually be useful for... Uh, God dang it. I wonder if it could actually be useful for our, our whole royal guardian. Guard I keep saying that because I'm wearing the royal guardian armor. But uh, God, go away! Okay, let me just do that and destroy. please just let me let me kill off all your spawners if you wouldn't if you wouldn't mind. No need no need to be aggressive about this. Jeez, ah, some I swear some mobs just just don't God they just don't want to let you just don't want God dang it this is so obnoxious just don't want to let you take out their own kind. Also I'm not even wearing the uh, God dang it, I'm not even wearing the uh, the Good God. I'm not even, I, ah, as I'm trying to say, I'm not even wearing the uh, modular power suits armor and it's, I swear to God, I swear to God, I should just go into being a bat, but I'm being stubborn. I'm being stubborn because I don't want to go through the morph. I just want to destroy all of them. I don't even need, I don't even need to be using Big Bertha right now. I don't, I don't need to be using Big Bertha. It's not even Big Bertha. It's the Royal Guardian sword. Okay, we're going into being a bat. Enough, enough of this madness. Enough of this madness. <laughs> it's just non-stop. Oh, now we have a big nightmare after us. Of course we do. Of course we do. Please, go away. Oh my god. Alright, I swear. Just get rid of- Just, god, leave me be. This dungeon, this dungeon is more difficult. This is more difficult than the big one, just because there's so many tiny little things trying to kill you. Oh God! Please stop! Oh my God! I must! I must! You know what? It doesn't even matter. Why am I even so focused on taking out the spawners? Merely because I'm a completionist. Completionist. I can speak. Completion. Merely because I am uh, a completionist who wants to finish what he has started, and he has started this stupid dungeon with tiny, tiny little things that are just impossible to kill. Oh my God! Leave me be, I swear. Ah, I'm so frustrated right now. Can I please just take you out and take you out and, and then we'll be good. We'll call it a day. We'll call it a day and then I can go back to looking for Triffids. Done, done, out of here. We're gone. Okay, let's find a Triffid. Oh, okay. God, that was frustrating, man. That was more difficult. That was more difficult and time consuming. Well, that wasn't more time consuming, but it felt more difficult than the than the massive one. Um, anyway, all right, let's go Triffid hunting once again, and hopefully I will be able to resume once I've stumbled upon one. All right, just had one spawn like pretty close to our dungeon actually, and of course we got a nightmare who wants a piece of the action too. Let me just grab the royal guardian sword and uh, please, please exit the vicinity. Okay, good. One hit KO. See you, bud. All right, open on up, man. Open on up. Can you do that for me? Can you? There we go. And done zone. All right, easy enough. And oh, that just give us a bunch. Oh, I thought they only dropped one per. Sweet. 
Okay, so now we can make both the uh, the whatchamacallit and the whatchamacallit, the battle axe and the attitude adjuster. Uh, so I'm stoked with that. Oh, do we want to try using one of the instant survival gardens just to see what it does? Because, I mean, if we it, it would kind of suck to actually use it in our royal guardian. And, and then I keep saying royal guardian. So annoying. Royal garden and, and have it break things. So let me try it. Let me do a little test run here. Oh God! Uh, yep. See that would have broken stuff in our in our garden, but still, that's actually that's really cool. That's really cool. Ah, uh, can you kindly go away? Oh, I just did the thing where I hit one into another, and no, you you just saw me one hit KO them, and now you want a piece of the action? Man, not very smart. Not very smart. All right. Anyway, um, carrots, uh, tomato plant, corn plant, tile null name. <laughs> and uh pumpkins okay wait uh yeah that's that's pretty that's pretty cool that's pretty yo know, lettuce and null name not sh not too shabby not too shabby had i known about this might have taken a different approach to uh the garden thing but we could set this up elsewhere um anyway oh i also i i took a look back at the footage somehow we just got another random dungeon thing when we that was weird i don't know what happened um, I have literally no idea what happened, but that's okay. <laughs> no matter, we have an extra one now if we want to use it. Uh, but let's head back. God dang it. Uh, let's head back real quick. And, uh, I'll put on my, uh, my other armor. All right. Where, where are you? Right up here. Now that we've got all our green goo, and then we have to figure out what bosses we want to have fight each other. It is what it is. All right, so we got our green goo. Why don't we make the attitude adjuster, which uh, requires a big hammer? How do I make the big? How do I make the big hammer? Is there no crafting recipe for the big hammer? Oh, but do I have one? I think I have a big hammer, so that's fine. Uh, I think I need to make one of you. And are we good? Nope. Need one more. Fortunately, we have tons and tons of, of the uranium and titanium, so it doesn't even matter. There we go. Attitude adjuster. And then uh, the other thing was the uh, battle axe, right? Yep. There we go. Battle axe. And do I have either of those? I do have a brand new axe. That's good. Just need to make another sword. Okay. There we are. And boom. Battle axe. And done. All right. Oh, did I actually have the green goo already? That would be funny if I had the green goo. Um, I may have had a couple extra. <laughs> That's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Whatever. All right. So battle axe, looting three and unbreaking. And then we've also got the attitude adjuster. Let's see what these... Are. Oh, that looks very large. Uh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> That's cool looking. Uh, what about... Oh, my goodness. It's like the super mallet from from Super Smash Brothers. This is amazing. <laughs> this is the best. Oh, I gotta use this on something. Okay, hold up. Uh, whose head is about to be smashed? There is a very unlucky creature that is about to face my wrath. Um, is it you, Dragonfly? No, your this thing obscures like half your screen too. Good God. <laughs> This is the best. Maybe I should spawn. I can spawn a random dungeon. That's what we'll do. We'll spawn a random dungeon. And then whatever hapless creature happens to to have been created with it, um, they will face the uh, the attitude adjuster. And maybe a little bit of the battle axe for good measure. I, I like it when I accidentally hit my pop filter. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> I got too excited. Had to had to punch something, you know. Hopefully, it didn't hurt your ears too badly. Uh, all right. So we have our random dungeon. Are we ready? We can spawn it like right nearby here. Yep. Why don't we just pockmark this area with with dungeons? Boom. And uh, here we go. Everybody ready? I don't think that I don't think they're ready for what's about to smash them on the head. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's amazing! Oh, it's even better than I thought it would be. Okay, dungeon spawn. I need to. I need to use this. I need, what is this? Uh, what in the world is this? 
Uh, what is it? What? Is there water in here? There's not even any water in here. You're out of your element. Boom. Douche. I'm gonna hurt myself. Oh god, everything is on fire. And boom. Boom. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, this is probably just not a good thing. I need to- I should not be stuck in an enclosed space. Ah! Hold on. Oh god. Oh god. No. Ho! Oh, oh. I almost died. I almost died. That was bad. What am, what am I doing? Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. Why did I do that? I, uh, that could have been, that could have been not good. <laughs> um, well, that, I mean, that was fun and all, but why are water dragons spawning with no water by them? That doesn't make much sense, does it? I also, I also do not have nearly the protection that I, I should have to face that many bosses all at once. Okay, don't, uh, don't worry, just gonna take a second to, uh, to do a little bit of, a little bit of healing. A little bit of healing, and then uh, then I can just one one hit KO them all, and then maybe maybe take out it. Okay, please kindly kindly go away. All right, there we go. And uh, please kindly kindly would you please? God dang it! I can't I can't get out. Okay, there we go. there we go. I just need to. Take you all out. That's all I need to do. Just need to take you all out, and then I can destroy. Them. I just really, I kind of want to get them out of there. I like how they're making water sounds, despite the fact that there's no water around there. Oh boy! You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do in order to, to be able to execute the the uh, what you call it the attitude adjuster to the fullest extent? Is I am going to head back really, really quickly and put on my royal guardian stuff, and then I will execute. I will I will execute. The executions to the fullest. Royal. <laughs> and boom. And okay. And this is where they are IP. Except they don't because I can't even get there because there we go. Okay, good. <laughs> Okay, it's it's time to adjust your attitudes. You guys have uh, you guys have gotten a little bit too confident with your uh, with yourselves, and it's about to uh, it's about to end. Actually, oh, well, that was a uh, oh boy. <laughs> I uh, I do wish I stumbled upon one of these dungeons earlier. Holy crap, that's amazing. Uh, wow, that's that's actually pretty friggin' sweet. That's pretty freaking sweet. I need some more inventory space. No, there we go. We're good. Whoa. Whoa. This is an awesome dungeon. <laughs> that's that's sick. Okay. Uh well, so we've used the attitude adjuster. I forgot to use the uh, the battle axe though. So, I guess we're going to we're going to just use it on that, that poor chicken. I'm so sorry, chicken. This is it'll it won't you won't feel a thing. It's going to be over so quickly. I missed. And that didn't really do anything. That didn't do anything too out of the ordinary. So, anyway, let's head back. Let's head back. I'm gonna clear out my inventory, and then we're gonna figure out a couple bosses that we can we can fight amongst each other. Actually, it probably would have been good to have something fight all these water dragons, but uh, I didn't have the presence of mind to do that because I was too bent on revenge. Anyway, here we go. All right, uh, I'll just yeah clear out my inventory and the BRB. I think I got a good one. We have a jumpy bug and we have Emperor Scorpion. Seems like it'd be a pretty even match, right? I think, I can't remember exactly how much health uh, jumpy bug had, but I think Emperor Scorpion's around like 300, 350. And I can serve as the referee. If things get a little bit out of hand, we've got our, we've got our Royal Guardian Sword here, otherwise known as the Enforcer, that will uh, it'll clear things up a little bit. So we'll see if they even aggro on each other. If they do, then uh, great. If they don't, then the Enforcer uh, comes into play and things happen. Here we go. Boss Fight Island. It's it's time for Jumpy Bug and Emperor Scorpion. Please aggro on each other. That would be great. Em aggro on each other. Yes. Oh, they, it's working. It's working. Oh, my God. Is that, okay. How much health? 200. And then Emperor Scorpion is what? What is Emperor Scorpion? 350. But Jumpy Bug has all the spit bugs. So who's going to win? Oh, he's taking damage. Oh, he's doing damage, I should say. He's doing damage. All right. You got... Uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Harry, 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 you're going to need to back off here. You're going to need to back off here. This is not a fight for you to interfere in. I'm going to need to encourage them 
to uh, get back near each other real quick because it seems that they've strayed, strayed from each other. And uh, oh god, he's in the sewage. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get back to your, get back to your mark. No! 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 Get out of there! Get out of there, man! You get out of there now! Get out of there! Oh god, I really need to. I just. Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do this? Hold on, let me. I can't. I can't drop. Ah, I have to go back real quick because they are. I just can't. I can't have. I can't have Harry and Perry out here. They're just gonna, gonna get in the way. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I do love you, but you need to. You need to just cool your jets. So before we mulligan this, we're gonna do a thing, and that thing should actually solve the other issue, which was kind of happening there, which was the fact that the jumpy bug ended up way far away, and uh, I was trying to hit him back, and then, and then Harry and or Perry got in the way, and then I had to get rid of him, and then he spawned, and then yeah, anyway, anyway, we're gonna build, we're gonna build a little battle arena here, okay, okay. So this way, this way, we can actually, uh, you know, keep the chaos in a, inside a contained area. May actually be easier to switch into a bat in order to build. So I'm just going to quickly uh, whip up a little battle arena around this sort of interior area. And, uh, and then we'll actually be able to do a uh, super duper fight. So, yep. Anyway, I will BRB when this thing is set up. And then round two shall begin. All right, here we go. Take two. I think the rain is sort of appropriate. You know, it's going to be a clash of, of two titanous beasts. Is titanous even a word? Probably isn't, but that's okay. I wonder what happened. I wonder if anything would happen if one got struck by lightning, turned into a, a charged. What? I, that that'd be a cool Easter egg. Anyway, all right. Why don't we? What is in? Is that? That's a dark mage in there. <laughs> Those dudes are annoying. Uh, anyway, all right. Here we go. It's also going to be easier if I'm a bat, because then I can just sort of spectate the action. So, here we go, boom, and whoa, dat, dat knockback. All right, hold on, and uh, let me just get, god dang, god dang it, I'm slowed. I'm slowed. Uh, hold on, okay. Just need to dive in, dive in, spawn jumpy bug. No, oh, god dang it, just let me spawn jumpy bug, and, ah, can't do it, that knockback. Please, please, just let me, let me spawn jumpy bug real quick. There we go, and fight, fight. Fight. Oh, God, stay within the confines of the arena, please. Please stay within the confines of the arena. Oh, God, no! God dang it, you would. You would do that with your mega knockback. Well, looks like I needed a roof on it. Oh! Also, he can jump high. His name is Jumpy Bug, so that would have probably been something to consider. God darn it, you get back in the arena. Get back in the. This is not gonna work. <laughs> I need a more well thought out battle plan. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna like do a stream or something and make a legitimate enclosed arena and then we can actually do fights between mobs and make like a glass roof on it just so I can like look in and them not get distracted by my being there. I don't know, can I? No, he's just dead. Okay. Well, <laughs> time for the enforcer to, to come in and, uh, and do what it needs to do. Alright, referee is calling the fight here. It's a TKO, technical knockout. And uh, this dude has, this dude actually has pretty serious armor, but unfortunately it's not nearly enough to deal with that. All right, anyway, uh, <laughs> I think, I think we're gonna call it there for this episode. I don't know, as I said, uh, maybe do a live stream or something uh, before next time and uh, put together some sort of arena and uh, be able to do some, uh, some fights, which should be kind of fun. So yeah, anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have a rating, would be much appreciated. Um, thanks for watching dudes, and I'll see you next time.